Hi, and welcome to the Creative Head's Virtual Learning Solutions. Have you ever felt that your own strengths or positive actions are causing harm to you or your organization? Well, today I am going to talk about a phenomenal experiment that was once conducted by a French scientist named Hinamen in 1872. His findings hold invaluable lessons for everybody living in today's VUCA world. I'm sure you are aware that some of the great scientific discoveries about human behavior came from animals like dogs, the theory of classical conditioning. And today I'm going to reveal a great scientific experiment that was once conducted on frogs. This experiment was conducted to study the behavior of frogs. Hinamen placed a frog near a hot boiling water and it immediately jumped away from the hot boiling water. Then he put the frog in a container filled with water at normal temperature placed on a stove. He turned the stove on and very slowly started increasing the temperature. This time the frog stayed put and it never tried to jump out of the container. Even when the temperature was raised until the temperature nearly reached the boiling point and as a result the frog died. The question that stood before Hinamen in the lab was why did the frog not jump out? Why the frog stayed in the container? Later it was learned by the biologists that it was frog's own unique ability and strength that killed it. Now you must be wondering how come a strength can kill the frog? How can a unique quality cause so much harm to the frog itself? Let me tell you. A frog has the ability to change its body temperature according to the changes in temperature in its surroundings. Which means it can raise or lower its body temperature according to its surroundings. Furthermore, the biologists learned that the frog never really felt any threat in its surroundings and stayed put in the container. Because of its ability to adjust its body temperature according to its surroundings, the frog kept adjusting its body temperature to the heating water till it reached a point where it could no longer take that much heat. However, it was too late and as a result the frog died. Like the frog, our organizations too face multiple complex, uncertain and ambiguous threats both internal and external and how we identify them is the first step to prevent our organizations from danger. Here are the key lessons we can carry. 1. Be aware of your surroundings and the gradual changes which might lead to drastic consequences for you or your organization. Like the frog did not notice any relevance between the burning stove, the container over it and the heating water. 2. Step away from the situation and develop a holistic view of it and then make decisions. The frog did not register the burning stove as any threat to itself, which was heating the container. It only focused on the container and felt safe in there. 3. Sometimes your ability to cope with the change could also lead you to danger. As it was frog's unique ability to change its body temperature that led to the death of the frog. Without knowing that it could also put it in a life threatening danger. Now that I have shared with you such an important aspect to protect and grow your business. Are you ready and willing to take the next step? To protect your organization from a possible unknown threat, here is what you must do to identify it in the first place. 1. Conduct a complete organization health assessment to identify any possible threats. 2. Conduct an effective teams analysis 
to understand if there is any gaps in your team internally. 3. Identify the leadership qualities of your senior and responsible employees to ensure that they are not leading your organization into any potential danger. And fourth, conduct personality assessment program for your employees to raise their awareness and alertness about the individual strengths and weaknesses in order to support each other. Write to me at info at creativeedge.co to conduct the above assessments for your organization and employees. Well, I am Hemant and I am an organization development consultant and a leadership skills development coach. You can also call me at 9811583665 to speak to me personally about all your organization's development concern and challenges. For more video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and for regular updates on the best organization development practices and leadership skills development insights, subscribe to our newsletter at www.creativeheads.co. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.